Welcome to Newport Living and Lifestyles. This month we are featuring the zodiac horoscope of Cancer and everything that happens within that zodiac time frame. So it's not just for Cancer, it's actually for anybody who's interested to find out what's happening during the Cancer zodiac time frame. What is the time frame? June? It's June 21st through July 23rd. Perfect. So, we are going to introduce our astrologer, Karen Chabot. Welcome. Hi. And birthday boy, Adam Zakara of Hello. Tennis Fitness. Newport Tennis and Fitness. Newport Tennis and Fitness. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, tell us a little bit about Newport Tennis and Fitness. So, Newport Tennis and Fitness, um, I started about two years ago. And over this past winter, we were approved by the IRS for a... 501c3 nonprofit. Ooh, okay, and, that's difficult. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So the the mission behind what we're doing at Newport Tennis and Fitness is to bring uh, wheelchair tennis to the state of Rhode Island. As of now, there's no wheelchair clinic. Um, wow. And wheelchair tennis happens to be the fastest growing sport uh, right now in in the world. Wow. wow. Yeah. Who did know? I know. Oh, they, 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 yeah, and they now have uh, four, they compete in all four majors, uh, the U.S. Open, Wimbledon, Australian Open, and French Open, so. Oh, you're doing good things. Yeah, mm-hmm. people, are, people are making a life out of it, um, but what we're doing at Newport Tennis and Fitness, um, I, I modeled our business basically after the nonprofit Sale to Prevail, um, which I worked with and volunteered for for about the last decade. Um, my nephew, Bryce Rafferty, had a spinal cord injury in 2009. He broke his neck uh, C4 through C6 vertebrae, wow. which left him a quadriplegic. And um, it turns out that the CEO and founder of Sail to Prevail, Paul Callahan, has that same level of injury. So I connected with Paul back in 2009 and through my tennis, I decided, you know, I should probably run this same type of program for adaptive tennis. Um, so to complete that mission, what we needed to do was get some programs in place. And what I did first was I went down to Orlando, Florida last October, and I got wheelchair certified as a professional wheelchair instructor um, by the USPTA of which I'm the only um, instructor in the whole state of Rhode Island with that with that certification. Another amazing feat. Which I'm happy yeah, well, about. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. And um, so we wanted to bring disabled tennis to our facility. And right now we've teamed with uh, another 501c3 called Acing Autism, okay. which is in 22 states. Um, we're going to be their 80th program. Um, so that's our first real solid program to fulfill our mission. The second one is July 8th. Um, we're gonna start a program for youth wheelchair tennis at Salve Regina University. That's great. Yeah. yeah. We do need to get a little bit of work done to get this program up and running though. Um, we need sports wheelchairs and we also need participants. So I'm gonna be going out over the next few weeks really um, Finding Recruiting. both those, yeah. 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 yeah, so how can people reach out to you or find you, find your causes? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I've got a, a website. It's at www.adam.zakara.usptapro.com. It's a long one. We Also, you can go on to our Instagram site, which is Newport Tennis and Fitness. Um, and we do have a Facebook, too, for the nonprofit under Newport Tennis and Fitness. And all of those places you can contact us and find out about events. Fantastic. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for You're contributing welcome. and making such a difference in people's lives. Really. You're welcome. Well, now Thank we're going to find out about your life. My life. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we're going to find out a little bit about love, finance, maybe um, relationships. Career, all kinds all right. of things. Fantastic. Yeah, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's coming thank up you. next week, right? That's right, June 27th. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's definitely cancer. So <laughs> this is for all people who have cancer moon, cancer sun, or cancer ascendance. So whenever you were born, you you know the planets and the stars were all aligned in the sky in a certain way. And if you were born when the moon was in cancer, or when the sun was in cancer, or when your if moon or cancer was rising in your chart, then this, what I'm about to share with you, will apply to you. Okay, so the zodiac symbol is a crab. And 
<laughs> I know. I was wondering about that. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, they kind of do go sideways. A lot of them. I've known yeah. a lot of cancer people, and they they do it because they're a little shy sometimes, and they're a little afraid to because they're so sensitive that they need to protect themselves. So they might yeah. come into a situation that might be a little risky, and they might come in sideways to just make sure everything's okay. Oh, okay. And then they'll quickly yeah. run the other way or crawl into their shell if there's any fear. Because you're so sensitive, you sort of protect yourself. Soft on the inside, yeah, hard on yeah. the exterior. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. yeah, and that's okay, you yeah. know. Of course. So their element is water, and water also governs the emotional body. So it makes them very oh. emotional creatures, mm. but very nurturing. And their, their um, planet is moon. So what that means is, so cancer is real estate in the sky. It's like land in the sky, and there's always a landlord for every piece of real estate, even right. in the sky. The moon is the landlord for cancer. So moon, it's really important to know qualities of the moon. It will actually describe cancerian people. I'm going to call you a cancerian, okay? okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I call you that from now on? Sure, too? I like it. <laughs> So the moon is the mother, the mother of the whole galaxy. So you tend to want a mother. Look what you're doing. You're helping all these autistic children. It's like perfect. Your heart opened. Yeah. You were just, you were inspired by, was it your nephew? My nephew, Bryce. Your nephew, yeah. you, to do these good things, good deeds and, and open hearts and, and just nurture those people who really can't move in a wheelchair. That, mm. that is commendable and classic um, mother type of person, even though you're a man, but you have this, this gift to help and nurture people and nourish them. So the color is silver and white, and that's perfect like what you're it. wearing. Okay. You, you should be wearing silver, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> so when you wear those colors, you're actually opening up to the moon, and the moon vibrates at these colors, because colors are all frequency and vibration. So it's like four-lane highway, right, to the moon when you wear white. And if you want moon-like qualities, then wear white and, and wear silver. And the gemstones are moonstone, and um, Pearl, but make okay. sure you get a real pearl because oh, there's a lot oh. of fake pearls out there. All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next time you want to see pearl earrings, pearl earrings on you. And yeah. so, I, don't, so I actually sparkle. don't wear any jewelry. You, so. <laughs> you don't wear any jewelry. You just you can yeah. wear white. You That's emanate. Okay. You yeah. emanate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're all moon anyways. You're here. All right. <laughs> and that, that gemstone should touch the skin, by the way, too. When you wear a gemstone for a planet, it should literally touch the skin. Like I have this one touching the skin. It's okay if they're you know, hanging on your ears. I mean, mm -hmm. there's some benefit to that. But if you're actually having the stone touch the skin, it actually will open up the vibration of whatever planet you're, you're trying to have an affinity with. Okay, so what are the traits? We already discussed they're nurturing, yeah. they're loving, they're sensitive, uh, caregivers, family first. And... Um, they do tend to go in slowly to relationships. So if you are dating a cancer yeah. person, be patient with them because once they're in, they're in. Mm. But it takes them a little while because they, and this is true for everyone, right? But especially for cancerians, because they're so sensitive, they can get, um, people can walk on them because they can see how sweet and sensitive you are. Mm. So you need to protect that part of yourself. And then when someone has earned you, where you, the trust has developed, then you can open up and be your true loving self. Right. Okay, now what's going on for love this month? Now I'm going to say this as gently as I can, but this is going to be a challenging time for love just during this time until July 23rd, but actually it may extend another 15 or 16 months, and I'm not going to explain why, but just trust me. Is that because me. the moon? Well, no, and I'll just explain in a, in a nutshell. It's the nodes of the moon. So the Rahu and Ketu are... Um, they transit every 18 months. When they transited, they, they actually are affecting cancer for 18 months. The um, tropical, I'm, I'm talking tropical astrology. So the, the nodes of the moon are affecting cancer right this moment. We have um, some purification, transformation, some restructuring happening in matters of the heart during the next, whatever, 16 months approx approximately, but specifically this month. So watch out. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a chance for you to actually, if you want to go to therapy and reinvent the relationship, new terms, or it may actually help you purify a toxic relationship where you've had some confusion, it didn't feel right, you didn't know how to get out of it. This month, the planets are aligned for you to actually figure out a way to get out of it gracefully, hopefully. <laughs> 
Okay. It's <laughs> my angelic. <laughs> if, if, in case you didn't understand that, that was my angelic. I, I got voice it. I love that angelic voice. Now you got to be careful <laughs> not to get too riled up during this time because Mars is going what we call debilitated, for lack of a better word. It's going into the sign of Cancer, and Mars is the passion planet. So it's about love and war. It's about um, drive, ambition, and the get or done planet. So when it goes debilitated, it kind of gets wonky. So it can mess with your emotional body if you're in the middle of a purification, we'll call it, instead of a breakup. Okay. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and it can um, cause anger, unprecedented, sometimes displaced aggression. So just watch that. And here are some remedial measures to help you keep this in check. Okay. okay. Ready? Good. Yeah. So keep a vial of rose essential oil, a little tiny one like that, in your pocket. And when you start to feel a little angst, just have a little smell of it. Mm. Or if you have a little rose water spray, they're about that big and they're really affordable. They're a hydrosol. Just spray your face for a refresher to calm down oh. any anger because the face holds anger. Okay. I was going to say, is seen? it rude to spray the other it's person? Like, like, like vampires yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, So if you start to fight, you can actually just spray your <laughs> <laughs> You're like, sh -sh and you. And you too. The we all chain. need a yeah. <laughs> spray. Oh, so, you know, want to keep everyone cooled down, and that's okay. the best way. And so fresh flowers around you, mm. you know, cut some flowers from your garden and put nice. them around your computer. Sit by still water and meditate more. Walk along the ocean barefoot. That will ground you. Mm. It will help ground you because sometimes when you feel ungrounded or uncontained, you want to anger can start to to build up so ground with the earth and then stretch right here is where anger and and fire inflammation gets stuck so when you unstick this part of your body then the anger can actually dissipate out so twisting uh, let's do it together like yeah. oh yeah oh. Yeah. it's working oh, so I give them a rose water right. spray and then twist and, a little twist. Twist right. Twist right. and the anger should start to dissipate and you won't fight as hard okay Okay, plan. moon salutations. If you're in a yoga class, have you heard of sun salutations? You know this classic sun salutation? Well, whatever. So if you don't know about sun salutations, then you may not know about moon salutations, but you can Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like this instead of like this? I know. It's more opening and oh, more gentle okay. and more uh, on the on the ground. And, and you're a moon sign, um, so okay. you should probably do some moon salutations. Moon salutations are excellent for Sounds you. Sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's a really fun one. You can eat some sweet potatoes because they're cooling, soothing, and grounding. Or you can have cucumber avocado salad with sweet carrot dressing to help ground and soothe you. Yes, foods affect your emotional mm. body. So there's a little... We gotta serve some of that at yes, tennis. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so money, what's going on with money this month? Okay, so you may be... Right <laughs> <up>. yeah. <laughs> Not much. Yeah. <laughs> you look like it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Is there a spray for that? <laughs> Money spray. I love it. I, please. You should develop one. I love it. <laughs> Uh, no, so money, actually, you could be the recipient of an unexpected donation. So this 501C yes. is a great thing for you to start right now because someone, don't be afraid to ask for money right now okay. because there's someone waiting to give it to you. Yes, you're lucky right now. Sounds this is good. the time to ask. Okay. And just, just put We're it We're actually there. applying for wheelchairs right now, so maybe that's good wow. karma. Oh, yeah. yeah, somebody will donate something really nice good. to you. I have a really good feeling. Yeah, good. just stay positive Thanks. with that. As well as um, there, there could be a little, where, where was I? A little um, opportunity for you to speak. So it, speech is coming front and center, so you could do public speaking. Yeah. Are you going to be doing that at all? In one what? week, actually. What? Yes. Yeah, with a PA system and everything. Awesome. So I'm a little okay. nervous about You guys that. are freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what happens in the second house for cancer right now, it's all about speech, is the sun is owning it. Uh -huh. So if you want to do a really charismatic speech, the only way to really do it this time is to step into your power and shine. If you go in with any trepidation, any feelings of, I'm not good enough, it could actually go the opposite way and you won't like how you how you spoke and you'll regret it. So you gotta do, give yourself a pep talk okay. before you get in there. You are worthy, you are amazing. Have someone just tell you how mm. how you shine. Pump you up. Yes. I'll yeah. bring you both with me. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll love your oil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's money. What else can I tell you? Oh, we should give you some remedial measures. You may not need any though. 
So wear red and wine colors. Red has affinity for the sun, and that's why you would be speaking. It's owning the second house, and you'd be shining if you would step into your power. So red has affinity for the sun. And be kind to your father, to bosses and grandfathers, because sun represents authority figures. So if you make your father some cookies or something, or give him a call and tell him you love him, uh. This will actually propitiate the sun and it will shine brighter for you. Isn't that oh, so nice. cool? That is, is it just like male or can it be like women authority it's, figures too? No, or just more mm, in the male? Well, you know, it also represents government, which is authority, but it, sun has a gender. It's male. Okay, okay. It's a gender. That's what I was wondering. Okay. Good question. So do some soul searching too because sun represents the soul. Okay. Yeah, so meditation and just go in and ask, what is my soul's purpose? Let it be revealed in your meditation and just, and just sit and feel it. Okay? I think I'm going to do that, too. Yeah, yeah. that sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then this time for the actual speech, sun salutations. If you do one sun salutation before you speak, it will ignite your charisma, and you'll be more mm. magnetic. Okay, Excellent. yeah. Now you can also find your power animal, too. I don't know if you're into that, but... I don't know about that. It's okay. We'll skip that one. But if anyone else is into it, you can find your power animal and bring that power, the power animal with you because sun is all about power. And during sunrise, sunset, breathe it in. So while you're watching the sun da go down, take an inhale. And it's actually in the air. There are, what are the constituents in poppy seeds? Anyways, it, it's a, opiates, opiates. There are opiates oh, released sounds, in the air yeah, during amazing. the sunrise yeah. and during the sunset. So you can inhale the opiates of the sunrise and sunset to ignite the sun energy, bring more money into your life and, and better speaking. Okay. And then allow yourself to just shine. Just yeah. allow it. This is your time <laughs> just to allow shine. allow it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so good news about career is that Jupiter is actually casting a glance into your house of career. There are 12 houses, and the 10th house is that of career, and Jupiter is glancing in, which is protecting you in your career. But there's a little tiny pinch because Mars is debilitated and owns that house. So there's a debilitation, yet Jupiter is glancing in to mitigate some of the pinches that could occur. So how to prevent the pinches that could occur? Now, I'm not going to project this or wish this on anyone, but it could be a purification of your job where you may not have that job anymore and time to get a new job. Or it may be that there's a man, because uh, you know Mars governs men, there's a man in your workforce or where you work in your office that could really irritate you. So um, to avoid a confrontation with that particular guy or any male, here are some suggestions. More laughter and funny movies. Wear yes. gold color or yellow color. Donate to schools. Volunteer at the boys and girls clubs. I'm not just choosing these randomly. These all have a vibration that equal the vibration of, of Jupiter. So we're trying to get Jupiter to really glance into your house and really protect to soften the blow from Mars. Now help children, any children that you have or children in your neighborhood. Well, you're already doing that. I, d oh I was God, just this is so perfect for you. Thinking you are on it. Yeah. Yes, and then you can also be a vegetarian just on Thursdays because that's Jupiter Day. <laughs> or you could do a, a juice fast on Thursdays. Wow, yeah. you're in touch with yourself. I love it. Yeah, so Thursdays would be a day if you don't know which day you want to go on your diet or your juice fast. Choose Thursday for, for a career for okay. you, for all cancer. Okay, then in a nutshell, we're almost done. We have eclipses coming up. We have the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. And the solar eclipse will happen July 2nd. The lunar eclipse will happen on July 16th. And in between those two eclipses, we call it the eclipse season. It's eclipse weather. And in the air, the molecules are a little stickier, a little denser, heavier. Even we tend to be more sensitive and vulnerable to a virus or a cold or bacteria or foodborne um, yucky stuff. So what do you do during the eclipse season to best weather the storm? Is, is to be more gentle on yourself, get more sleep, more rest, uh, gentle yoga, which is restorative yoga or yin yoga. Don't make any major decisions. Don't sign anything that's major. Um, don't start new relationships. Don't start new businesses. Don't hire anyone new. Just try to be during these two weeks. Chill out and trust that after July 16th, that lunar eclipse is over, about three days after is when things start to lighten up. But this is a time for us to go inward and meditate and go gently and, and just kind of roll with the eclipse season. The eclipses are not negative. They're just times when the luminaries in the sky are more dark. They even say Rahu swallows the sun. 
So we, we lose that light quality just those during those two weeks when we know when there's more darkness that the little bugs can breed faster. So that's what happens during that time. So eat clean and, and do your juice fasting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I Thank think you. that sums it up. And if you yeah. want to reach me, yeah. I'm theyogicmystic.com. Go right to theyogicmystic.com. I'm Karen Marie Chabot. I teach classes on this, and I give private instruction. I'm also, I have my master's degree in Ayurvedic medicine, so I can help you with your health. I'm a medical intuitive, and I combine the readings, the astrology, and the health, and the yoga. I'm a yoga teacher as well. And so if you need any help at all with your life or need to shed some light on um, issues in your life, I'm happy to do that. Thank you so thank much, you. Karen, thank and thank you so much, you Adam. Both. I enjoyed having you both on and learning more about your tennis and your autism efforts and the cancer sign. And if you are interested to learn more about interviews with local businesses, local charities, and local events, feel free to visit NewportLivingAndLifestyles.com. And we all look forward to seeing you on Newport Living and Lifestyles. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.